USAID and State Department play a vital role in investing in global health R&D. And we've seen the power of these investments that are translating into lives saved today. We need real champions who understand the power of these investments uh, in global health. Senator Coons has been a key leader on the Hill. He's really helped in terms of shaping policies. He's also been holding the purse on some of these issues. He's really helped to champion R&D as a method of innovation. And that comes through, I think, to all of us in the community. There is no shortage of crises that demand our attention and our action. His thinking around R&D as a method of innovation, whether it comes to PEPFAR or even the reintroduction of the REACH Act. He's a man of many interests, many passions, but none more so than global health. He has found a common cause with a number of his Republican colleagues. In the Senate, he founded the Senate Malaria and Neglected Tropical Diseases Caucus. He's done important work on child and maternal health. He's done work on trying to reform and improve U.S. foreign aid delivery. He sees the power of these technologies. He sees the power of these innovations. He has done multiple trips to the field. During the height of the Ebola crisis, he was the only member of Congress to travel to Liberia. He felt like it's important for policymakers in Washington to know the legislation that they're passing and to see it firsthand. I think it speaks to his character and it speaks to the seriousness with which he takes the job and the importance of global health uh, in his work. Foreign assistance is not a charity. It serves a humanitarian purpose, but also makes us stronger. When the administration proposed a number of cuts to the global health budget, he was one of the senators who stood up, which I think was an important and powerful message. And I can only hope for more elected officials like Senator Coons. He's one of the few members of the Congress who recognizes the importance of global leadership. And he is led by, uh, by example. He is led by being bipartisan. We need to continue to invest in new innovations to stay ahead of the curve, to make sure that we still have effective solutions. And it is critical to have people like Senator Coons to really be a true and strong champion.